Hello, in the previous video I showed you how I made the smallest lighthouse tracker that I know of and there was one thing left to do and that was determining where the lighthouse base stations are around the tracker. I call this calibration and in this video I will show you how I managed to do that on board of this uh, lighthouse tracker. So why am I not using the Bitcrate solution? Because the, the board is actually based on the Bitcrate lighthouse deck, which is used for all uh, for these tiny drones. The thing with the uh, lighthouse tracker by Bitcrate is that it uses an external computer to process the data and to make the cal uh, calculation. Doing the, the whole cal calibration also takes quite a lot of time. However, when you do use the five trackers themselves. You don't have to do this extensive calibration and with the headset it's just a matter of seconds if you do a standalone uh, uh, calibration. So I thought well is it possible to make a onboard easier way to determine the base station uh, positions. To be able to determine where the base stations are we need to have data. And the primary data for that is actually uh, provided by the base stations themselves. because. Every 10 seconds, basically, uh, the, the base stations give you information about their posts. You may know that the lighthouse base stations actually have an accelerometer inside. It's most visible when, when it's uh, stably running and with a green LED on top. And then when you touch it, it temporarily switches to blue. And the way it does that is that when you touch it, the accelerometer detects a, a shift in, uh, in the position and it will uh, wait until the base station goes back to a stable position. These accelerometers is actually also used to determine the direction of the gravity factor. So this can be used to determine partly the orientation of uh, the base station. Besides this accelerometer data, uh, the base stations also help us to determine the position, of course, of the, uh, the lighthouse deck. For each sensor, we get a, a vertical and a horizontal angle relative to the, the base station position. And this is another thing we can use to determine the position of uh, the, uh, light, uh, the base station relative to the lighthouse. Now I will show you in a simplified setup what the steps are uh, to determine the base station position relative to the lighthouse deck or at least the way I'm doing it because there are other ways but this is quite a straightforward I don't know actually whether this is the best way but at least it's working and uh, it's a starting point for uh, further development uh. to show you how I determined the base station uh, position I took the data coming from the base station namely the gravity factor and the ray angles and put them in this unity example. So here you have the gravity factor and the ray angles. So in the scene I have the camera, the, the base station and a visualization of uh, the, the lighthouse deck. The orientation of the base station is done primarily using the gravity factor. So when I show you this gravity factor in the scene you will probably see that it's not completely straight and that's because my base station is not precisely horizontal. The gravity factor when something stationary should always be pointing downwards to the center of the earth. So the first thing we need to do is make sure that this, uh, this line is uh, pointing downwards. So we're going to look at this uh, base station from the for, for, uh, front first. So now we can determine the rotation around the z-axis and we adjust it like this until it's perfectly vertical. Uh, something like this. So it's about 9 degrees off uh, in, in this case. So then we're going to look to the side and there we see that actually it is already perfectly vertical. So we don't have to do anything there. And that's not really surprising because you can actually see that uh, the, the uh, offset in the Z direction is zero. You can see that's not forwards uh, or backwards. If I, if I change this, you can see that it's uh, moving forwards and backwards. But in reality, it was zero in this case. So we don't have to adjust it. Now we have the pitch and the roll of the uh, base station, but we don't have the uh, 
the yaw or the orientation around the uh, lighthouse deck yet. So for that we're not going to use the gravity factor because that doesn't help us with that. But we are going to use the uh, angles towards the, uh, the sensors. And I can already show them here. In this case you can see that there are four rays coming out of the base station. In reality there are no real, real rays coming from it, but it's convenient for the visualization here. We are going to intersect these rays with the uh, ground plane. And the ground plane is the plane of the, where the lighthouse deck is there. So now I'm going to remove the arrays again and just see the projection. And you see it's actually quite small. So uh, to make it more uh, usable, I'm going to move actually the base station 20 centimeters up in the air, because then it will get bigger. For this case of the uh, base station determination, it doesn't matter how high the, uh, the lighthouse is. It will come automatically at the end. This is actually the four points of the lighthouse deck. So if we move this... Uh, yeah, towards the lighthouse deck, you can actually see that it's... Well, it is squarish, but not qu uh, quite correct. And one of the things we need to do here is rotate the base station around the uh, lighthouse deck in order to align it. So probably if we rotate it, you can see in the image below when it is more like a rectangle. And it's not entirely square. I'm going to talk about it later, but uh, this is about the position where it should be. So now we actually have a full rotation determination of the base station because uh, it is now at the right place and at the right orientation or almost. Uh, the only thing we need to do now is scale it because you can see it's uh, hitting one sensor but the other four are not hit. hit. The, square, the rectangle should be actually a bit bigger. So that, for that purpose we are going to move it away a bit until it about matches the size of the sensors and just adjust it a bit again. To So this this quite well matches the position of, of the, the sensors with the projection of the rays onto the floor. And actually now we have the complete orientation and position of the lighthouse because the lighthouse is exactly, well exactly, not exactly, uh, but about uh, matching the orientation of uh, the lighthouse deck. So this this is actually quite well. So now we have a position of the lighthouse base station which is uh, 87 centimeters away from it, 30 centimeters high and some rotations as you can see. And I actually me measured it's quite accurate because actually uh, in reality it's 90 centimeters away. Uh, this is 30, this is about right. And you have seen the, the angles, uh, these are a bit off. And that is because the, the gravity factor with these uh, very rough estimates are very, uh, yeah, very coarse. If you want to know more about this algorithm, I've written a, uh, a document which is available on my website. I will put the, the link in the description. And of course, all the code is uh, available on GitLab. It's open source, uh, so you can use it at your own uh, in the way you want it, basically. Uh, and if you want to discuss this with myself more, you can always join my Discord server and then, uh, yeah, I will be available wherever I'm, I'm working on this, basically, in, in Europe. Uh, and for that, all the links were, uh, will be in the description.